Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, the women's soccer team honors first responders in their win against Cleary. Victor Newberg talks with Tanner Camp about joining the Maple Leaf family. And Allie Rohr talks about the women's volleyball season and new head coach, Courtney Crawford. All that is coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome to the first episode of the new season of the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Allison Priggy. The women's soccer team played at home this past weekend, but for the match, the team wanted to raise awareness for first responder firefighters and police officers. Ben Cotton has more on the story. The Goshen College women's soccer team is all in for representing the community and in a home match to make least recognize the Goshen Police and Fire Department. Senior Megan Bauer played a huge role in the first responders match at home. Okay, well it basically started with uh, Harold Watson, the athletic director. He really wants to have a push for community engagement this year. And so with that, we kind of sat down as captains and thought, you know, let's plan out some events we can do and get the community involved. And um, when I heard about the first responders once, that, that one just kind of, I was the most interested in that because I just thought it'd be a cool event to plan. Um, I think, you know, the work they do sometimes goes unnoticed um, and I think it's important to kind of recognize and honor the sacrifices that they make and just kind of celebrate that um, with the community. So um, we started planning these events before the summer back in April and then in the August, basically when I got back from preseason, I kind of started with the first responders game to try and get ahead of it. Both Bauer and head coach Justin Crew goes into detail why giving back to the first responders organization was important. Uh, you know, I think it's just just something that they do so much for our community. You know, the the police and the firefighters, um, and the EMTs and the ambulance people and those things. So, um, just decided to do something to try to celebrate them and thank them for all they do for us in the community. Yeah, we thought it'd be really cool if we had half the team were warming up in the fire department shirts, they were the red ones, and then the other half in the police department, which were the navy ones. And we actually spoke to Amanda Heckerman, who's a player on the team. Her mum works for like a shirt designing company, and so we worked with her to get the shirts made. And they just had, it was important to have like the Goshen fire department's logo and the Goshen police department's logo, rather than just a, a generic one. So we just thought that'd be really cool to warm up in those. Um, and yeah, I think it looked good at the event, but it was a lot of colorful and bright colors, so. <laughs> the Maple Leafs not only hosted a charity match for the first responders, but also secured a victory over Clarity University, winning two to one. Oh man, it was fantastic. You know, it was a good win for us. Clarity's a solid team. Um, so yeah, it felt great. You know, it's always good, like I said, on a special event night like that, and big home crowd and get a good win, so it felt really good. Yeah, overall, I came away really happy with it. I think warming up, you know, seeing the event going on, we were all in great spirits, you know. You could tell it was an exciting game. And then, you know, seeing how many students came out, community members, it really helps when we have that kind of support. And I think it just gives everybody a really good feeling. And then in terms of the game, you know, 2-1 against Cleary, they're a very physical side. Um, and so, you know, them getting the equaliser, we knew we were like, we can't lose to this team, like, let's go. So I think even the games in the past that we've won, we've kind of come away not feeling too great. We were like, oh, performance wasn't at its best. But I think yesterday we're st starting to see it all coming together. And so I think, you know, we're, we're really happy with the win. Never satisfied, you know, we always want to take it to that next level. But overall, I think we came off the field feeling really good with the win. Two really nice goals. Uh, Emmy's first goal for Goshen and then Bia's, like, I think that's the second goal, but very nicely done. So, yeah, came away overall with the event, really happy with the win and, and the event as a whole. So, overall, it was a success. The First Responders Charity event will not be the last of the season as Coach Crew has more dates in mind. No, so we've got a few more. Uh, we're going to do Pediatric Cancer Awareness Night on the 21st, and then we're going to do Breast Cancer Awareness Night, and then we're going to do like a local GUI, so with the, with the local um, Goshen Youth Soccer Organization too. So a few more coming up. Yeah, just again, a big thank you to all the students and community that came out. You know, it does make a huge difference. Um, we hope to see you at more of the games. Like I say, in two weeks, it's the pediatric game. It's the go for gold. There'll be more fun events with that. You know, bring as many gold items as you can. We'll see face paint. We'll have banners out. I think there'll be like a halftime competition again. So, yeah, just, you know, keep bringing that support because we love it. So, thank you very much. For Globe Sports, I'm Benjamin Cotton. 
The women will also be having their second annual Go for the Gold match to raise awareness for pediatric cancer later this season. When we come back, Tanner Camp will be joined by Victor Newberg to talk about joining the men's soccer team. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. My name is Tanner Camp, and to my left, I'm with Victor Newberg, the head coach of the men's soccer team here at GC. Coach, thank you so much for joining down to the studio. Pleasure to be here, Tanner. Thanks. So, Coach, you were uh, formerly at Trine University as an assistant for two years. What does that experience help bring to the team, and how did you find your way to Goshen College? Um, I found my way to Goshen College since being around in the community. Um, Goshen College has always had a great reputation for its academics and its historical program, so I jumped on that opportunity to join. And you were a former player at St. Norbert College in Wisconsin. What does that experience of being a former college soccer player help when you're coaching this team? Um, it kind of gives me a first-hand perspective of what they're going through, you know, what the academic life, social life, and soccer kind of bal balancing those all three. So that's kind of really what helped me as a coach. And when Harold Watson was looking for a new head coach, one of the things that he mentioned was he likes the idea of you helping develop the soccer players into young men. What is being both a good soccer player but also just a good character off the field, uh, how is that important to you when coaching and just teaching these young men? We just kind of use soccer as a means to an end. Right? Can you use what you've learned at Goshen through academics and through soccer and that competition as a means to an end for your professional life? So can you take the lessons that you've learned on the field and apply it to your professional life and the rest of uh, your being? Coach, thank you very much for coming down. Always a pleasure. Of course. Thank you. When we come back, I will be with Ali Rohr to talk more about the women's volleyball team this year. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I am with Allie Rohr, senior setter for the Goshen College women's volleyball team. Allie, thank you so much for coming down to the studio. Happy to be here. So you are the only senior on this team, and you have a lot of experience also on the court. What have you been doing this season to train the other teammates uh, for your final season? Yeah, this year, um, definitely just try to step it up as a vocal leader on the court, you know, teach these girls how to um, handle pressure well and just kind of um, get a good vibe together as a team, you know, because I think that's the most important in getting some more wins this season. So along with being the only senior, you also have a brand new coaching staff with head coach Courtney Crawford. Um, what do, how do you think that she has been doing so far in her first season and your final season as a Maple Leaf? Yeah, she's done amazing. Um, we're really grateful to have her and Lauren both as our new coaches. Um, they definitely bring um, new energy to the program and um, provide us with some harder drills. They challenge us as people on the court and off the court. So we really appreciate that. So while you're the only senior, you do have a large group of sophomores and juniors on this team. What have you been telling them over the course of the season to help them get ready for when they all become juniors and seniors next season? I let them know time flies. As you get older, it just keeps going faster. So I just let them know um, that they need to enjoy their time and make sure that they make every point count, every practice count, and every rep count because like sooner or later they're going to be in my shoes leading this team. So finally, you guys are currently 5-8 and eight on the season, now going into conference play. What do you think this team needs to do to really step it up so you guys can get back to the Crossroads League tournament? We just got to throw some um, more confidence in, our, in ourselves. I mean, we have the talent, we, have, we put in the hard work, and we're just, we just got to go out and put on a show for some people. 
Allie, once again, thank you so much for coming down to the studio and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. When we return, Allison will give you a look ahead at your Maple Leafs in action. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College. Everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique, supportive community, right here in northern Indiana. Cutting-edge academics, real-world learning, and small, personalized classes make the difference, all surrounded by world-class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Let's have a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. Men and women's tennis hit the road on Saturday against St. Francis starting at 11. Men's soccer in action on Wednesday as they take on Madonna University starting at 3. And they'll also be at home on Saturday for a matchup against IU Northwest, which starts at 7. Finally, women's volleyball is busy this week with three matches on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday going against St. Francis, Huntington, and Grace. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to check us out on social media, on our YouTube channel at 911 The Globe, and on our website at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner. <laughs>